Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Elite Spartan and welcome back to my channel everyone. In today's episode, we will be, be playing through Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. This is part 6 in this walkthrough. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more weekly game walkthroughs and commentary like this. I hope you all enjoy this video and let's go right into this. Alright everyone, so in today's episode I will, will be recruiting Jack to our cause. So I believe this mission is called Prison Break or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of this mission. But I do remember it's the one with that fucking Turian character that tried to lock us up because as we're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. So I think we should take Garrus with us and let's take Grunt with us. Alright, let's make sure all our characters have their points in the tree. I need to spend one endpoint in my Balak Mastery Tree. They can't really spend any more points at the moment. So we should be good to go. Make sure the loadouts are all, all correct. Alrighty. Should be good to go. Let's start the mission. And I do want, want to point out, if my voice does sound different, guys, I recently did catch COVID. So oh, I hope you guys can... Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. At the moment, As this is a high security a vessel, call, so you need to I relinquish your weapons before we proceed. He can play through this without coughing any much. I am I'm at more at the end of having COVID right now. I've had it for at least five days so far. So, it shouldn't be as bad as it was when I first got it. So, just wanted to point that out. Okay, AC guys are wondering in why my voice sounds different at all. So, let's see. This, this guy, I want us to relinquish our weapon. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna tell this fucker to go to hell. I'll relinquish one bull. Where do you want it? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. Standard procedure, huh? Well, I have two options. I could... Tell him I'll keep my weapons politely. Or I could go the renegade route and tell him it's not happening. I'm, I, I don't like this guy in the first place, I'm just pointing it out now, so I'm just going full renegade on this guy's ass. And just, I'm just going to give him renegade aid, aid opinion after renegade aid opinion. I'm not surrendering my gun, period. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Alright, let's investigate. 
But ask about Jack. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Will I? Well, I'll take your word for it. Let's ask about himself. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space and the galaxy is a safer place. So it's principle. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. All right, now the last one I'm going to ask him is the expense of, of this operation. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. All right, let's ask him what if the party or family doesn't pay? What happens if the homeworld doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his homeworld at an unspecified place and time. You scare the homeworlds with the prisoners. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Alright, let's just say keep moving now. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Alrighty. So we from this point we just continue on. We get to Jack. But before you we do, do that, let's stop that and check out After what's going on with this prisoner. You paragon point bonus. Is there something I can do for you? Let's say, is this necessary? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. Alright, now let's just do the maximum amount of paragon over here with our best paragon option. This is beneath you. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. For now? Hey, hey guys, over here. Oh, what do you yeah, want, bro? If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. Get yourself out. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. All right, goodbye, I sir. I go. Wish I could go. His dialogue's not really that interesting. <laughs> Alright, looks like we just head through this way. Now processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Alrighty, just through this door. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Uh, why would I drop my weapons? And why are you trying to put me in a cell? What about serving the galaxy? <laughs> Let's negotiate. Hell no. Let's ask him what what about out serving the galaxy? 
You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. All right, time to take cover, guys. Take these fools out. Alright, you're right. Uh, Thank you. I just realized they did two soul over her. Her character in my squad. I should have killed one by one in my squad. Oh fuck, that's not good. That's not good. Take cover. Oh my god, I'm not in a good spot right now. Okay, that's a straight move. There we go. That was good timing right there. I almost got killed. Keep moving down this hallway. Stay down, please. Thank you. Let me equip the shock wave. Be more useful in this narrow hallway. Okay, let's keep moving towards Jack. Shepard is on the loose. Repeat, oh. Shepard is loose. Get people down here. All right, let's open up all the cells now, guys. That's going to open every door on the cell block. It's the only way to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Be ready. Fuck, this is not gonna end well. I wanna be on the fucking end, end of first base. Warning, warning. Ooh, I wanna see how long she can last. Oh my god, Grunt. You're, you're the one thing I do like about Grunt. I'll take it. it. His whole purpose in the mass event is to, it's just to fight. He was great to fight. So, so, any like line you have in Mass Effect 2, maybe Mass Effect 3, no so it's just fight related. That's what makes Trump hilarious, I'm having this for home. Oh, you gotta be very careful in this other area, otherwise, that mech over there will oh, just destroy you. So, let me boot up. Real fast. Equip that, Garrus. Equip your overload ability, please. Thank you. Let's automatically do it. And Garrus knows what's up. Alright, let's switch to our good one. Alright, we should probably... There we go. This guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. I think we're gonna run into one more or mech in that stereo. There we go. Yeah. 
right on your ass. Knock those fools down. Yeah. 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 I'm on it. You got it. But those guys are hiding up there. Looks like the run end of the doors took them out. We're gonna have Garrus switch to his sniper and then Grunt switch to his shotgun. No survivors. Because I already have my pistol for this outfit. <coughs> so we need someone with a long range weapon and some sort of weapon. <laughs> God damn it, bro. <laughs> I think they me. I mean, they... Taking heavy fire! <clears throat> On the ground, now! Alright. Uh, Ego Wolf. Probably should actually be used for a shockwave. Use the shockwave instead. Get them out of cover. And then let's move forward. Tell the run to get my information. Yeah, you go over there, Grant, and you can get in there. I got two games coming from. There you go, Grant. Oh, I used the wrong one button. Back there. I can use the wrong thing. Well, let's do a scope, Dad, drop! Access to it yet. Scaring the hell out of me, even when I don't have a barrier, I can't reset my fucking abilities. Guards had when we get to the final area. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. Is it really good for the galaxy? I don't think slavery is good for anyone. I don't know, Down, 
enemy. Get around and take out the other pillars. On the ground now. Cover me, guys. Never so I love this right. Light him up. Thank you, Garrus. Move forward. Take out the last pillar. Get the barrier down. Stay down on the There we go. I'm here. You got all it. my teammates on me. Alright, now I'm king, so. You got it. Yeah. I'll, I'll want to have this. I'm trying to take out these guys off the face from the boss. I'm gonna pin right now. Oh fuck, they're both down. Alright, stand up. Behind you! On your stick! Moving! Got it! Got it! Attacking target! Like the boss is just ready. Boss is just killing Grunt. Oh. Yeah, I have to use my heavy pistol on these guys. We can just take out this last battery and we can focus <clears throat> on the boss. And we, we feel Grunt right with this. Oh, I know how to deal with this guy. Just stick right there, just use the comes and blast on him. Cerberus. What the hell do you want? What, what do I want? I'm just Commander Shepard, man. I'm just here recruiting in a team to save the galaxy. Let's just say you're welcome. Let's just be polite and just say you're welcome. I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you cocky want? Cocky ass bitch. I'm Commander Shepard. That's who I am. My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. Oh my god, let's just, let's just annoy Jack right now. Let's, let's, just, let's just say being my un enemy is unhealthy, because people that I come across us tend to not walk away be alive i'm offering to be your friend you don't want to be my enemy they have a way of dying you show up in a cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere you think i'm stupid yes this ship is going down in flames i've got the only way out i'm offering to take you with me and you're arguing just shoot her and patch her up on the ship i'd like to see you try um, maybe it might should. just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. What do you want? Tell me what you're thinking. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Get the fuck off this shit, man. All right, so that's that. Well, 
Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Give her the files. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Well, that, that, that mission is out of the way, it looks like. Let me go take a quick look at our galaxy map to see what's gonna go down in next episode before we end off of this episode here. The elusive man. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him in through the camera. Well, oh, never mind then. It looks like uh, in the next episode we will be talking to the elusive man to see what's up. So if you guys want to see what happens in part 7 of this series, be sure to drop a like down below. And also comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one guys.